Hi there, so I'm uh, Jen Moore Memke and I teach yoga. I don't know. Doesn't sound good anymore, does it? No. Um, well, yeah. I spent a lot of years trying to do what I thought I should do, what seemed reasonable or safe. Um, I even put off making this video because uh, I thought I should probably shower, <laughs> brush my hair, maybe my teeth. Um, but I hit a point where I felt just dead inside and um, and alive on the outside which just felt awful so I started to look at myself as the responsible party for who I was what I had and um, and what I was capable of what I could make of this life and I realized that I didn't have the skills, well, I had the skills, I didn't have the habits to be um, authentic because I had spent so much time trying to please and trying to fit in and trying to be successful in a world that quite honestly doesn't make a lot of freaking sense to me. and. Um, and so I'm not doing that anymore. And it's new and scary and um, exciting. And I don't know that I can define myself. Um, the first question, Marie, you asked us was, what do you do? No, who are you? Who you are? I am me. I am always changing. God willing, I'm always growing and learning from my experience, and I hope to be an advocate for joy in this life, um, both in my own experience of it and in the experience of the people that I touch and that are around me. Um, what I do, I write. I try to communicate in words, sometimes successfully communicate in words. Um, I have been known to teach uh, yoga and mindfulness. Um, I mother, I have a son and two stepchildren, and I'm a wife, and a lot of these things are who I am. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm sometimes scrappy at all these things and sometimes brilliant at all these things and I believe that in this life we need to give ourselves a break and stop living like it's someone else's business what we're doing and so I'm really focusing on, I think part of this journey is me figuring out who I am. Um, I feel it. And I know it, but I can't describe it always in words. Um, why do I want to do this? I thought a lot about this. So I have um, an opportunity to live uh, kind of, I don't know if a recluse, but on a farm in Montana. And I love it there. I love disappearing into the big open sky and being alone or being with just a couple of people and really kind of closing myself off from from all of this you know the videos and the youtubes and the facebook and all of this communication and i realized that i think it matters what 
we leave behind in terms of a mark, a legacy, and I guess this is why um, I'm an artist. Um, I think I've always been an artist and just always been, I don't know, maybe insecure, unsure how to own that label, feeling like it's just another thing I'm saying that I am, but um, I'm somewhere between a, an anthropologist and an artist and a scientist of sorts, but I just believe that at some point in the future it would be nice if someone looked back at the overall society that we've created and could see pockets of spiritual awareness and pockets of authenticity and pockets of joy and connectedness and free-spirited living. And that is why I'm drawn to create a business of mindfulness and living from a place of joy and finding what it is that makes you excited to get out of bed in the morning and whatever that is, whatever, you know, practice it is um, where you're integrated in body, mind, and spirit, that's what we should all do. And so that's what I call yoga. And um, that's what I share. That's what I'm here to share. And I see that changing as well because I've, um, I've noticed in myself as I grow and change, so does um, my vision for what I'm here to do. And I hope that... No, I know that my time in B-School will help me clarify with intention what it is that I'm here to do and find the words and the tools and the right, right, an effective set of style, skills, style, I don't know what that word, well not style. I'll be able to deliver and heart be heard and um, and feel good about it and be pleased with what I'm leaving behind and my my scratches on the cave wall will matter and um, and hopefully I'll be of service to the world in that way and in the process my life is becoming brilliant every day I'm grateful to be here, to have this opportunity to make this video in its imperfection, in my pajamas, with my messy hair, and my sweater-coated teeth. So, wherever you are, I hope you have a joyful day, and I look forward to sharing the Jen Moore Memke story with you as it unfolds. Thank you for listening.